Hello there. What is going on, everyone? We have got some Star Wars Legion news to talk about because the Ewoks are up for pre-order as well as the new ATST expansion, which is interesting. And we're definitely going to take a, a look at that. We're going to talk about all of this stuff in today's video. So hopefully you guys are doing well and having a wonderful day. Let's chat about Star Wars Legion, but a little bit of admin stuff first. Of course, we are still doing the giveaway. You have plenty of time left to enter to win this. It's for the $165 Amazon gift card for a Star Wars Shatterpoint core set, and uh, that is running till the beginning of June. All you have to do to enter to win that is to be a subscriber and leave a comment on this or one of my videos, and uh, and, and uh, also while you're there, check out some of the links that we have down in the description below. I'd love to have you join our Discord, and we still have the painting competition going on right now too and so uh you know your your wild and crazy paint jobs throw them in there we'll be looking at those soon people have been asking me how long is the painting competition going on for it's going until i decide it's done uh but it will probably be in the next couple of weeks so uh so there <laughs> you have a little bit of time left to uh to enter to win that as well i just want to thank today's sponsor luxury Playstyle, amazing full metal tokens compatible with star wars legion they also have tokens compatible with x-wing and magic the gathering and keyforge and lots of other games head over to luxuryplaystyle.com check out these tokens they are magnificent they are double-sided they're gorgeous they sparkle they shine you're going to love them they have a weight to them that only metal tokens can have. They're absolutely gorgeous. And if you use code VIP, you're gonna save 15%. Those make great Mother's Day gifts, great Father's Day gifts, great gifts to treat yourself or to have as prize support as well. So check them out and don't forget to use that code. All right, so the uh, Ewoks are up for pre-order uh, and I wanna talk about these a little bit. Uh, the Ewok Warriors is the first box set we're gonna talk about. Uh, these are up at asmodee.com. Uh, they, they actually talked about these last Friday. There's a whole lot of stuff that was going on last week, and I didn't get to this right away. So, um, But, of course, we did know what these miniatures looked like for a while. I think we saw these at Star Wars Celebration last year. Uh, these have been a long time coming, and I think uh, people are going to be very excited. Again, this is a, a battle force that is also they're mercenaries, but they're also going to be able to work with the rebels as well. Um, if we look at the back of the box here, uh, we're going to get a ton of information here. One of the interesting things about these guys uh, that we learned from here, in addition to being compatible with the Rebels, is that we're actually getting uh, eight, eight miniatures and two unit cards, and five upgrade cards, uh, a token sheet, and an insert sheet. Um, the five upgrade cards is interesting to me, and I have a feeling that they're going to be reusing miniatures in here, depending on which unit card you use and which upgrades you use. Um, that's that's kind of sort of my guess for that because we've already we've already seen uh, the Ewok skirmishers. Uh, now this was uh, a, you know a promo that that you know that's a like an OP. Uh, I believe this is in the store championship kit that's coming. Um, but we can already see that it's a unit of six, and it's forty points. It's melee only. They've got a heavy option and a personnel option, which by my math adds up to eight miniatures. So if you run an Ewok Skirmishers unit with both a heavy and a personnel, that's all eight miniatures. So what are you going to do with the other unit? I wonder. Maybe it's a strike team. Maybe it's a ranged version. Because look, I see bows in that artwork. I see multiple bows in that artwork. So what's really going on? Now, I guess technically there's two bows but you also you got the guys who are building traps right you've got the trappers you've got the the guy blowing the horn you got you know you got the the spears you know like, i'm like there's two archers with me could it be like a personnel is also an archer i mean you know there's obviously gonna be a lot more new stuff that is coming for sure but uh but they're but they're looking pretty interesting um so yeah yeah uh that's pretty cool um so, uh, yeah, as, and as we look it out, um, you know, uh, it, joining them, uh, what is it? Uh, joining them are an Axe Ewok miniature that can fill the unit's heavy weapon slot and an Ewok Trapper miniature that can fill its personnel slot. Uh, rounding out this pack are five upgrade cards that give players options for customizing their Ewoks to fit their own playstyle. Are we back to putting, like, upgrades in here? I'm guessing these are going to be, like, Ewok-specific upgrades, uh, maybe even 
uh, maybe even you know upgrades that are unique only to this particular expansion that wouldn't be useful for you ever everywhere else. Um, you know, and uh, again, it does say here that they are armed with slings or spears, so you can kind of decide if you want them to be ranged or melee. Uh, but but either way, the slings and spears option. I mean, I'm seeing I'm seeing bows there. What about the bows? Right? I mean, it's fine. But bows can work in place of slings, I guess. Uh, I thought that that's pretty funny. Uh, we also have Low Gray and Wicket, uh, and it says Commander expansion, and it doesn't say Commanders. It says Commander expansion, which I thought was funny. Uh, two heroic Ewoks come to Star Wars Legion to help bring down the Empire in this pack. The brave and resourceful Wicket, W. Warwick, and Logre provide instrumental help uh, in helping the Rebels bring down the Imperial Shield Generator during the Battle of Endor. And these pack as these iconic Ewoks as, um, as new commander choices for the Rebel Army. Choices, so there's two of them, right? Uh, and also, in this pack also brings some other stuff. You get uh, the new Chewbacca ATST card. And you get in the new C-3PO card. If you've already got C-3PO, you're good to go. If not, you're going to have to either <laughs> get, uh, what is it, the uh, the Echo Base Defenders pack or the uh, that Crashed Escape Pod pack to pick up C-3PO or just proxy them. I mean, you, you know, as long as you're not going into a tournament, uh, you know, the, you, proxying them shouldn't be too much of a problem. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, and then you're getting five upgrade cards in this one too, which is interesting. So, some interesting stuff in here. Uh, if we look at the back of the box here, we are seeing uh, that we have three Bright Tree Village command cards and then also a teamwork kind of card. It's Wicket and Leia Organa. Now, this is a Leia Organa specific command card. Uh, and I think it is fair to assume that she may be allowed in the Bright Tree Village uh, battle force. Uh, but maybe not I, mean, I would guess so i mean i would think a lot of the people that you see in return of the jedi like fighting alongside them would probably be welcome in their battle force i mean if chewbacca can take an atst into that battle force then you know I, then leia should be able to come in there too i mean they happen to have a dress made for her in advance it's almost like they or they ate another human uh another human female about leia's size um but yes, so, uh, but yeah, permanent Wicket Games teamwork with Leia. Uh, and then when a Bright Tree Village commander uh, issues orders, you may uh, choose a friendly rebel uh, at range one and, and do some other things. So it looks like, um, you know, it, it looks like that, uh, you know, it's just weird because like Leia's doing it, so she's issuing the orders. I don't know. I got to see how that whole thing is going to work out. Um, well, you can, we can't see all of the text, but we've already seen C-3PO's card. Um, we do get a look at Chewbacca's card here. So he's, it looks like he's 190 points, still armor, arsenal 2, Inspire 3, which is new, uh, and Incognito, which I love. Incognito is such a great keyword. And one of the things I love about Incognito here, um, uh, on any unit that is like disguised, like I really want a Leia in her Boosh the Bounty Hunter disguise, um, you know, and, and, and like incognito is just a great way to have disguised units or also traitors. You know, I, I've talked, you know, for you Clone Wars fans, I really want to see Pong Krell show up in Star Wars Legion, uh, as a separatist, but you give him the incognito, uh, keyword. Uh, so this way he's like, that's kind of how you deal with the traitor mechanic. Like, oh yeah, you're not sure who he works for. Your opponent's not going to fire at him. He, they can't fire at him. I mean, I know it's perfect if you go up against clones, but it could still work against anybody else. You know, like they don't know where his uh, allegiances lie, you know. It'd be groovy. And he has the weak point one rear. Uh, but he also has the, the different hard point weapons built onto his card already. So, um, you know, so it's interesting. You don't have to think about what upgrades to give him. And by the way, he can't take any upgrades. So you must run him in this one particular way, which is also very interesting. That does probably mean that your your upgrade cards and it looks like C3PO doesn't get any upgrade cards either. So it looks like all of your upgrade cards are going on Wicket and Logre for those five upgrade cards that are coming with it, which is interesting. Now it also says it comes with eight command cards in here. Uh, you are probably getting these four and then four more. You're going to be getting uh, Wicket and Ewok uh, Wicket and Logre specific command cards. Um, so can't wait to, to see some previews of these. Um, so that's cool. Two token sheets too. You're gonna get a lot of uh, a lot of token uh, a lot of tokens, right? 
So I thought that that's going to be pretty cool stuff. Uh, and then we have uh, some artwork for them. Now we got Wicked over here. I feel like his ears should have probably been up a little bit higher, though. I think they're like a little bit more like top heavy as opposed to side heavy there. Um, but uh, and then there's low gray, uh, the Ewok medicine man, as he I first learned of him in the. Um, you never knew any of the Ewoks' names, right? It was only from the toys, the Kenner toy line, that you actually like. It's like, oh, that person's name is is low gray. He's the Ewok medicine man, but. In the movie, he's just running around, you know. He's like, I didn't want to be a medicine man. I wanted to just run around and banks, bonk stormtroopers with sticks. That's that's what Ewoks sound like. They just sound like, just like me. Hello there, I'm an Ewok, and I run a YouTube channel, and we're going to talk about Ewok tabletop games. Um, we also have we also have a, a new ATST expansion. Uh, it, it, you know, it's it's the ATST. Right, it's it, it is the ATSD there. It, this is kind of getting the same treatment that the Wookiees got. Whereas, hey, it, you can buy this new Wookiee expansion. It's the same as the old expansion, but it's better. So you're still gonna get the ATST. You're still gonna gain stuff, but you're probably gonna gain a little bit more, which is really interesting. Um, yeah, yeah. So, additionally, this miniature pack now features new customization op options, allowing players to uh, to assemble it. Well, to, uh, to assemble it, obviously, there's going to be more with with General Vice or Chewbacca in the top hatch. And we're going to show you some some uh, some shots of that because that is really cool. Um, I love it. Uh, it also includes the Imperial unit card and the Chewbacca unit card found in the L Wicket and Low Gray uh, expansion. So, you're going to be able to run this. As the Chewbacca version or the uh, or the Imperial version, uh, which is going to be fun, and it's good if you only have one of these things. I really love running two ATSTs. My problem with this is I already have two ATSTs, and do I really want a third ATST? I'm not sure how I want to do that. Uh, it comes with the same weapon options. The other one has. Um, well, it looks like there's a typo on this one though, because on this version right here, they show um, Chewbacca with a. a uh, the, the the twin light blaster as being range one to two and a, that's supposed to be one to three. I I, I can't imagine they would have made Chewbacca uh, you know, print run cards in two different expansions in the same wave and have them be printed differently. So I'm I'm pretty sure that this image here is just uh, just a uh, just in a little typo. Um, but yeah yeah it's uh, so we'll have to see. Uh, I, I, I'm presumably this will. I wonder if this is going to be on a sprue. I think it'll be on a sprue this time. I'm really tempted. I'll probably pick this up and probably do another ATST just because it's a it's a really gorgeous unit to paint. It'd be a really fun one to do, um, and and it'd be cool to have these options. I think a lot of people will want to magnetize these. I will definitely do that. Uh, it's like that's definitely going to happen. Um, but I love the idea of having Chewy right there. Like uh, I love it. Like I, I, and and I feel like I kind of want to make a Jack in the Box of this Chewy. Uh, but I really like the General Vice option. I mean, you've seen him. This is a big throwback to Imperial Assault, too. It's like the same sculpt. I think a lot of people... I, th I think there's been a lot of aftermarket stuff like this as well. Um, but this is just a really cool General Vice one. And General Vice is really good now. He was kind of bad uh, early on in the game, but he's he's gotten a lot better. Uh, I love running an ATST with General Vice. Um, it's, it's always a tough choice, too, because there's a lot of different things that you kind of want to do with it. Um, but I'm I'm curious about about something in here and and let me let me see um, here it is uh, we've got it says it comes with uh, one plastic miniature two unit cards we know those six upgrade cards that I think is interesting because we know the Chewbacca version can't use any upgrade cards so we're looking at just six upgrade cards for the Imperial ATST and my guess is it's probably going to come with the exact same upgrade cards that the original Imperial ATST came with. Uh, I'm not sure though because there's only three heavy weapons so it'll probably come with like a, like another comms or something or like three other comm options or something like that. That's kind of my guess and I have a feeling that's probably because um, you know if they're again if they're trying to release the same thing why have the old one have stuff that this one doesn't right so that's that's what I'm gonna go ahead and guess because I feel like if there were new um, upgrade cards, like brand new upgrade cards coming with this, 
Um, since Chewbacca can't take them, then that would mean new stuff for the Empire. Uh, then they would have advertised that. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there's brand new Imperial upgrade cards coming, but I'm going to go ahead and lean towards towards the no that this is probably just a uh, probably just a, a kind of a reprint of the ATST with some new options. Uh, but these are pretty cool options, though. I like the idea of having General Vice and Chewbacca in here. Um, I'll, I'll probably pick this up and do an unboxing so you guys can check it out and uh, see for yourself if you want to pick up another one of these uh, and, and see how all of that is going to turn out. So, thought it was pretty cool. Ewoks, new ATST, um, and and they're going to be their own battle force, which is going to be interesting. I, I you know, we, we I'm sure any day now we're going to get more information on what that battle force will contain. Um, you know, C-3PO, you, you've got, you're going to have at least, um, you're probably going to have at least two core. My guess is more than that, probably three core. So you, my guess is the, the, the if you want to run the Bright Tree Village Battle Force, you're going to want lots of the Ewok Warriors. You're going to want to get a lot of these uh, and uh, probably at least three units. You're probably going to want the ATST with Chewbacca in it. Um, now, if you've already got two ATSTs like me, you can probably just get... The Logran Wicked Commander, well, you're going to need that. You're going to have two commander options here. Uh, you'll also have Chewbacca. And so I like that option. I like that option. That'll be a good one. Um, and Chewbacca, by the way, is a heavy here. And I think it's just so cool having Chewbacca as a heavy. It's just, it's, that's groovy. That's groovy. I get that he's in. By the way, his subtext is let the Wookiee win. And uh, and I love that. So very, very fun and cool stuff. Um We'll have to see how the Ewoks look. I don't know if I'll learn them as a battle force. I'll probably just pick up one unit of them and maybe run them with the Rebels a little bit and kind of do my own my own Battle of Endor thing. But I'm, I would presume that you know it wouldn't be too unlikely to see Leia and possibly even Han. Uh, I don't know if you can run Chewie on the ground, uh, but he might be like, like I mean, if you can put Chewbacca in there, then maybe you can put Chewbacca on the ground also. Like maybe you want to do the ground f version. I don't know. I don't know if you'll how many like rebel like core or special forces options. Like, will you be able to run rebel commandos with these guys? I get. I would bet, but I don't know if you'll be able to run rebel troopers. That'll be interesting to see. All right, guys, that is going to do it for this video. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Uh, big thanks to all my patrons. You guys are amazing and help make this channel possible. So thank you for your continued support. I will talk to you soon. May the force be with you. Live long and prosper. Be excellent to each other. Party on, dudes, and yub nub.